see this look on the channel for I don't know as long as I really don't know but guys sorry because of this look I'm just welcome to my channel like welcome to talk time with Dami thank you so much for you know the love and support lately it has just been overwhelming thank you so much so without wasting so much of our time because I can just keep ranting and ranting and ranting because it feels like I'm feeling myself <laughs> I'm feeling myself but because I'm not so used to know having this kind of look that aside so today's discussion is one that um i don't know probably most of us might be able to relate with it because everybody wants to add you know a childhood moment and all so i'm talking about the effect of um some childhood experiences in adulthood some you know some things we went through, some things that you know that life threw at us, and the effect is definitely having on us our life. So, I'll be listing out some of this, you know. So, I sat down to think of some things that personally I've been through, people around me, and we'll discuss those stuff and the effect. And in the next video, we'll be talking about the things we can do to, you know, get over it. I don't want the video to be so long, so I would not touch every part. So we'll do the other part in the next video. A lot of us have had, um, I've had someone probably at school, at home, church, anywhere, even among our friends. People have abused us um, verbally. Most of them, some some might be in form of joke, but they got to us, and some is intentional. Like the person who said those stuff said it intentionally just to get at us, and they did a very big damage to probably our self-esteem the way we see ourselves and a lot a lot more like that so then i would always say we should not joke with everything like you hear some people saying i was just joking so a lot of us might just say i was joking and to the person who this word i um, was spoken to it was not just a mere joke it's something that caused like a big damage to them verbal abuse Second one here is physical abuse. You see some some children. You can't just probably you want to scratch it and you just raise your hand up. And the next thing they're really like this because they're really used to um being you know getting it by any any little mistake they make as children because children are um, bound to just make mistakes. They're meant to, they're bound to destroy things even if it's intentional or if it's not intentional. But they would as long as there are children around, things always get spoiled. So some children are really used to you know um getting beaten up for the slightest mistake that they that they make so even when they're outside and they just see you know any form of act that looks like this person wants to eat them they, are, they just become defensive they're already protecting themselves and it's not meant to be like that it's, this third one is one that i really don't like but i just feel it can't be it's something that i personally can contribute the children have been okay let me start from there domestic violence so the third one here is um, domestic violence. As much as we try to, you know, prevent this, say, okay, parents should try not to, you know, do these stuff in front of their children because children, like, every little thing that happens in the house, or every little thing that happens around them, they grab it, like, they are seeing it and they are just saving it somewhere. Even if you feel you don't know what's going on, they lie, they know, they understand. Imagine a, a young boy that grows up around his father always eating his mom eating his mom eating his mom this thing is two ways he might also grow up um eating women seeing it as something normal or feeling like that is the only way he can feel like a man or he grows up eating his father and he vowed not to ever eat a lady so it's two ways and a a, a lady a, a a girl child who grows up in the house where a father is always eating um a, mod, a mother or the mother is always eating the father because some it's not only um you know it's not only the the wife that gets um abused in the marriage even sometimes you see the, um places cases where it is the father that is even being abused by the mother so a girl child who grows up in a home like that will feel the only way she can you know um act like a woman is when or feel like a woman or the man can feel like a man is when she gets eaten by the man you know this kind of um mentality that is just um placed in the minds of these innocent children so an opportunity to you know sit down in a bus or someone just pass you and you know for a few seconds you can't breathe well 
Why? Because of the kind of smell that eats you. It just chokes you. And you can't breathe through. You can't you or sometimes you even start testing the, the smell of the thing that eats you in your throat. So that's why you know it's it's so nice to smell good and sometimes smelling good and choking people too is not good but it's nice it's, it's so nice to smell good. So that's why I've brought this good news to you. If you are schooling in Unilag, if you are in Lagos, even if you are out of Lagos, we'll do delivery to you. Nimi's fragrance got you covered. She sells perfume oil, pocket perfumes in all sales and you know normal prices if you want just one she will deliver to you so she got you covered especially students in unilag and even in lagos so and out of lagos she got you covered so please patronize her i will put in her contact in the description box please patronize her call her and her services are very very nice My name is Oluwale Dibi, the face behind the mystery grants, and I'm so glad to inform you guys that I sell perfume oils, very very affordable, and I have the really 3ml perfume, I have 6ml perfume, I also sell pocket perfumes, I sell children perfumes and body shower gel, so I love you guys to follow my Instagram handle at the mystery grants, and you can also chat me up on WhatsApp 0082212587, I look forward to your patronage. So, sorry for that short break. The next point is, you know, children that have always been made to feel like they are never enough, like nothing they do is enough. When they carry plates, they can't carry it well. They hold water, they can't hold water. They, you know, there's always a complaint about every little thing that they, that they do. So such child is so conscious of the fact that if I do this now, we mommy like it, we daddy like it, we dislike it, and they just tend to just grow up with this mindset of I'm never enough. Like I can't, you know, like there's nothing they can do, and that I can say I would say that is like one of the greatest um worst feeling that a person can have about themselves, feeling like you're not enough, like there's nothing you can do that is perfect or you are not good in anything. So this is an advice to parents. If you have always, you know, like, see, you see, everything goes a, a long way in the life of a child, even in the life of adults. When you do something and there's someone always there to, like, encourage you, even when what you do is rubbish, and someone's always there to tell you that, well, what you did is nice, is this, is that. You want to do better the next time, but when, when you do this, they're always complaining. They, will, they might not even be a next time because you feel you can't do this, you give it to someone. So as parents, as guardians, as brothers, as sisters, as friends, we should we should just emulate this habit of you know, encouraging this person, encouraging people around us. Even if what they are doing, you it's so obvious that it's not perfect, it's not good, but still let them feel like it is good. And after that, you can now, you know, give them the little advice you can give like, okay, you could have done it this way, you could have turned out this way if you did it this way. Not like you just come at them like, there's nothing you can do, nothing in your head, you know, this kind of thing now. So, please, let's change. So, this next point is one that I don't really like at all. Do you know that parents can even bully their children? I guess we don't know. Parents can bully their children. Their yeah, siblings can bully siblings. Aunties can bully their younger cousins or this thing. Bullying. You just, you know, you just keep bullying. You might not even know that you're even bullying. You know I'm saying parents, they might feel like, okay, she's my child, so I can, you know, talk to her anyhow. Everybody has feelings. Everybody has emotions. So you can't just feel like you can talk to anybody anyhow and it's fine. No, or you can treat people anyhow and it's fine. No. Even your child has feelings and emotions. So, stop bullying your children stop bullying your cousins stop bullying your brothers and sisters the bullying they're even getting from school is even enough that for them to not come home and you know continue getting it this is the last point here sexual harassment like it's something that has gone viral like everybody knows about it but the effect it has in the life of the victim it's very bad. Like you see, sometimes some married women, even when their husband touch them, they are stiff. Like they, they themselves can't even help themselves. Nobody wants to feel, you know, like you're married to someone and you feel okay. This is the bone of my bone. This is the flesh of my flesh, and I meant to just give this person my all. But at that point, you just see yourself, um, you know, holding back. 
because of fear or you know memories of the past just keeps flashing back and automatically your body just starts responding to the stuff you are remembering and you are giving your husband hard time you are not happy with the kind of way, the way you are responding at all so sexual harassment is not just about the the trauma or the effect it has presently like it just takes the grace of god people that heal from me they just take the grace of god so when we want to do these things to people please let's just let's not just think about that present moment let's think more about the future because the effect is major majorly comes out in in the future of the person not even the present like not really the present we should not that i will say whenever we do stuff anything that we do whatever we do we should not make any decision based on the present moment so um let's not think about the now let's also think about the future like what would my what these words that i'm about to speak now I'm about to say now what would you do in the future of this person how would it affect the future of this person not just you know like it's so annoying when people just you know just say stuff for the fun of it i'm not thinking about i saw a post on 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 instagram about body shaming so um j mike my family son that he wrote that story about body shaming how people body shamed him when he was in secondary school and how it affected him but you know he grew out of it and he, he said something one point there that that moment people might just see it as fun and the person you're even body shaming might be smiling and you just feel like it's actually not getting this person but deep down within that person the person is feeling so bad and miserable so it's actually not nice when you you know you you have fun you get happy when others are hurting it's actually not nice so let's stop all this um you know jokes that are not needed maybe just talk about people you just insult people you just say stuff about people please let's stop it and yep before we end this video yeah i promised to do um both the you know the causes of this trauma this trauma oh i i, I just did that now and i promised to do the effects I think that in the next video, along um, the um, the way we can come out of these things, the way we can you know get better and overcome these traumas, the old, the old effect, the old, the old things that cause the old, you know the problems, is it problems? The old things that come with the old abuse, the love, the everything, the everything, everything. We can overcome it and become better people. So guys, but before we go, we'll be taking one more advert. Okay, so have you heard of Leia's cousin? No, if not of it, I know because she just started. It's very, very new. You didn't see the way she garnishes her food. She will cook fried rice. She can put sweet corn inside. I know it's something you can do in your house, but you know, there's no time. But she's ready to, you know, decorate your food. She will garnish it. That you're, you'll be okay, but you still want to take more. So what do you want? anything i would you know i would drop the video now i would drop some slides some some of our food some of our delicacies you would sit and trust me you would you would have no choice than to just get the number sharp sharp and all that it's just you know just place a call across to her and she's ready to just deliver your food to you sharp sharp she won't waste your time she won't waste your time so you guys please patronize her i don't know if i've done a video on helping helping yeah i did that in my last video like it's so good to just help people around you grow and you'll be happy to be part of their success st story you might not go around telling people that ah, i was only given one five to start a business i was one no. but you know within you'll be happy that yes i contributed to the growth of this person so please guys patronize her she's a very very good person patronize her and her food too is sweet patronize her thank you so much Anywhere you need me, I will go.
saying to you this time. I know I talk so much. I know I talk, but that's what I am. That's what I love doing. That's why I'm here. So guys, please, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you for watching till this time. I really appreciate it. And subscribe. Guys, subscribe. And I keep saying it. I never told someone about my YouTube channel. Even though, why? Please, tell your part. Let us tell your pastor. Yeah, if you can tell your pastor, tell your pastor. If you can tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your sisters, tell your siblings. Tell, tell your cousins. Tell your classmates. Tell anybody tell you book. Tell everybody to subscribe to Talk Time with Dami on Instagram. If they don't subscribe, collect their phone. Go. Let us say Instagram. What's my problem? On YouTube, collect their phone. Go to YouTube. Break it on the subscribe button. Guys, but please just subscribe to my channel. So it gets so long. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please click on the like button and click on the notification bell to know when I'm dropping my next video. The talking is already getting so much. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. What else? So I'm going back to the video. I just mind. The next topic. Eh, let's just the topic. <laughs>